Hello guys, welcome back to your Football Manager channel. I'm FM Pepe, this is the Celtic series. And today we're playing Hibernian. Don't forget to smash that like button. A little bit of a change up for today's team because we're playing Roma in just four days time from now. So we need to save our starting 11, which we're going to be doing. So in goal is going to be Adrian Semper, uh, Anthony Ralston, Declan Gallagher, Scott McKenna and Greg Taylor across the back. An all Scottish defence um, with those four lads. Luca Connell is going to join Sandro Tonali in midfield. William, Thiago Almada and Angel Gomez are going to be playing behind Camelo. So Camelo is the young striker we got from Atletico de Madrid. He's already improved corners, long throwing, bravery, vision, uh, strength, stamina, natural fitness and agility. So he's already making progress in training. So we want to keep that up. Um, if you notice when we brought him he was valued at 1.8 million. Now he's valued at 3.6 million. So again we've already seen a little bit of a uh, uh, improvement there from him. And uh, let's just loan status. Unavailable for loan. Oh, director football. Right. <laughs> David Anderson, what are you doing? Alright, so let's get to the game. Where uh, there's a few players that are going to struggle to see out the game because of match sharpness. Luca Connell's going to need a number. He'll take number 46. Him and Weston McKenney both taking a fitness test before this game. So, should be a good game. Let's see. Um, they're going to be playing. Is that James MacArthur from Crystal Palace? There we go. Um, so, they're going to be playing. A 4-2-1-3 formation. We're going to be playing a 4-2-3-1. And Mr. Monkey set uh, three Hibernian uh, instructions for their players. So, uh, or three, I'm talking like Yoda today. He set instructions for three of their players. There we go. Talking riddles, I must. God, that's a terrible impression. Um, so here's McKeegan for them. Oh, what are you doing? Adrian Semper just let that go through his hands. You might as well kick the ball like that, you div. Oh my god. Watch it go through his hands. What the hell? Oh, you... Lickle so and so's. <sighs> right. We're a bit fired up. Almada's a bit um, anxious, but. There we go. Almada's putting this one in. Willian. McKenna comes in at the front, uh, at the back post. Gets his second goal of season. Good reply by us straight away. And uh, good deep ball in by Thiago Almada. I thought William was going to get to it, but William was just a shield for McKenna. So that was good. And they're on side. There we are. Straight from kickoff. Florian Camberry will take kickoff for Hibernian. And Camelo wins it. Oh, what a finish. Sergio Camelo gets his first goal. He stole it off the defender there. Two goals in two minutes for Celtic. 2 1. See, uh. Kakare gives it to Jackson. Yeah, so Andy Jackson loses it to Sergio Camelo. And what a finish that is. Look how hard it is back in the net. Get in. Well, that's a good start for us. A good response from us, sorry. Um, we've played seven so far. One six, drawn one. Goals four, 20. Goal difference, 16. So we've conceded four. Uh, 19 points on the board. Five points clear of Rangers already. If we win this game. So. Normal service has resumed. Tenali puts one in. Thiago Almada will give it back to Tenali. Crosses. Jackson got there ahead of Camelo. Camberi gets it. And lays it off for Lombardo. He's held up, plays it back to Ferreira Oliveira. And 
with uh, McKeekin back to MacArthur out wide to Stewart oh no 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 hang on no way did he he won the ball I'm sure no way did he just give away a penalty he won the ball Ralston won the ball he saw the ball go the other way come on Semper I think it would be against Canberry. It is. Ah, oh, right down the middle. Mm. Well, it's going to be an open game. Because uh, we're about to go very attacking. And I'm about to uh, try and fire the boys up. Right. Aggressive. I'm not happy. Get out there. Sort yourselves out. Right, let's see if that does anything. Giving them a good rollicking. Luca, Luca Connell, six point nine. Hmm. Gomez is 6.7, William 6.6, .6. um, Greg Taylor 6.6, .6. Ralston 6.5, we're not doing well out in the wide areas, oh, McKenna and Gallagher couldn't put it in, McKenna had it against crossbar and Gallagher had his shot blocked, so why are they struggling on the wings, should we tell them to cut inside, forget going down the wings, be narrow well, where they are narrow that's probably why they're uh, struggling press higher up transition distribute to the target man there we go right, let's try that get creative boys well they're all inspired by that feedback there Is Taylor to Connell. Taylor, can he put one in? Gives it to Nally. Oh, he's bounced off someone's head. <laughs> to Nally didn't half smash that one. Gomez! Oh, he's at a crossbar. Oh, Sorensen clears it. And uh, they brought on a guy called Craig Smith, who's a promising uh, winger. Let's bring on Darnell Fisher for Anthony Ralston. Let's bring on Juan Miranda for Greg Taylor. Try and start that full back situation. Willian 6.6. I've not been impressed with him since he came to the club. Um, Luca Connell. Let's take him off for Weston McKenney. Put a bit of experience in there. Right, let's see if this will help. Tonali puts it in. Willian. Come on boys, get creative. We need a winner. Uh oh, Ambry. Oof. Oh no. Oh no. Do you see he just committed our player to the ground there? Oh my god. Ambry, who's our number 20? He went in there. Oh. I got a feeling it's Scott McKenna our number 20 it is he drops he drops Scott McKenna like he were a sack of spuds oh no this could be our first defeat lads this is not good Oh, Ambry's through again. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, no. Oh, Pepe's at the wheel and the wheels come off. Oh, my God. Oh. 
Well, this is terrible. Oh, 4-2. Oh crap. That was horrible. Scott McKenna, you're shit. You are absolutely shit, son. Well, that's our first defeat. Oh, man. We had to better at a game, better at a possession. Didn't do a great deal with it, though. Oh, my God. This guy, Graham. Right, we're going to make an offer for him, weren't we? Oh, we got Roma now. Oh my god. The only good thing about this is... Greg Taylor gets injured for four weeks. Is that... If... If we don't win then at least it's sort of... Oh, I'm talking bollocks. I want to win. Uh, <laughs> talking absolute bollocks, Pepe. You want to win. Right, we're going to use that suggested squad. And, no, I'm not. I'm going to change it up a little bit. But In fact, Monkey, I've just been absolutely shite. So as I've been shite monkey, you can pick that team. That, I'm going to play with your team, your tactics, your way against Roma. Because I've lost a plot. So this is Mr. Monkey's team. If it all goes wrong, <laughs> I have no responsibility for it. If it all goes right, I knew I was right to trust monkey. I knew it. So <laughs> let's see what happens. Otamendi's now playing in China with Beijing. Diaz for Benfica, Ruben Diaz, he's a good defender in. Um, right. Here we go. European Champions Cup Day. Group C. AS Roma in first place at home at Celtic Park. I don't lose this game. Just don't. Well, don't forget, you can like the video, hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, always great if you share the video. And there's a little bit of a a lovely little uh, Patreon thing if you want to help with the channel a little bit. That's always. Um, great if you can if you can't don't worry about it um, I just keep forgetting to mention it um, <laughs> I really should right here we go 4-2-3-1 we are on Anna in goal Ralston, Semedo, Aya, Miranda across the back Florentino and Gamera's in midfield Neres, Gomez, Tyson and Mertens up front on the bench Semper McKenna, Tanali, Keane, David Luiz, Vidal and Bowen. I can't believe Monkey's put the bomb scare on the bench. Um, the bomb scare, by the way, is Sideshow Bob, David Luiz. Uh, Monkey describes him as a bomb waiting to go off. <laughs> which I think is quite apt. Um, particularly if you saw the last Arsenal game that David Luiz played in. Right, here we are against Roma. And Miranda gives it to Tyson to Gomez. Shoot, Neres. Ah, oh. 
Aya picks that one up, comes forward, plays in Miranda, cross is blocked, Florenzi comes away with it, and uh, he looks up, finds Chengiz under, oh, Onana with a nice easy save. Ooh. Come on boys. Don't let us down. Don't let monkey down. Says Miranda's got a foot injury and should be able to nurse him through a game. Ninety four percent he doesn't show that he's got a foot injury. Get creative boys. There you go, they're inspired. There we go. Florentino Luis has picked up yellow card. Monkey. Mm. Not recommending any changes. Another header from Mertens. Paul Lopez has saved it. There's still no new opposition instructions. So the players get creative again some more. Well, no highlights, but we've had 19 shots, six on target. Roma. Oh, Anana came for that. Really well collected. Kicks it out to Tyson. He takes it down left wing, cuts inside, plays in David Neres. Mertens! Get in. 1 0. We hit him on the counter. Mr. Monkey, you're a genius. There we go. Good control over the shoulder of Tyson. Onto his right foot. Neres has a little pop. Comes off the post. Straight to Mertens. There you go. We're in first position in our little group at the moment. I'm just going to hand over to Monkey. Let him do. Sorry, Mr. Monkey. Um, <laughs> let him do the team talk. I'm just going to tell the players to keep being creative. Which I think Mr. Monkey would want us to be. Ruben Smedo goes all the way back to Andre and Nana. I think Smedo is a quality signing, to be honest. Um. He's probably, oh well done David Neres, he's probably the signing we needed. Tyson, oh he stumped one, what a ball over the top that was by David Neres. Tyson's just come in and hit an absolute screamer. Mr Monkey is a genius. Monkey's at the wheel, monkey's at the wheel, how does it feel? Now monkey's at the wheel. Go on, son. <laughs> I lost the pot, mate. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing today, honestly. <laughs> Not a clue. <laughs> that last game. Oh, no, a nana's come and missed it. And the referee's not giving anything. It's 2-1. Oh, bugger. It's the first real mistake on Anna's made. So it's not good. Um Get creative boys. I think Ralston I'd bring off if I could, but I don't really have anyone to put there. Um We have McKenna. As a defensive option. So there's Bruno Gamares, tackled by Clover. Justin Clover coming forward. Where's Christopher Ayer going? <laughs> Andre Anana with an easy save. Um, 15 minutes to go, we're winning 2 1. Florentina Luis. Um, I think could probably play right back for us. 
in place of Anthony Ralston and we could probably put Vidal in midfield um, Angel Gomez I think we could probably bring on um, Sandro Tonali for him and play three in midfield and uh, let's see don't want to bring on Sideshow Bob. I can already hear Mr. Monkey screaming, not the bomb scare, not the bomb scare. Um, <laughs> uh, let's just do that for now. Tactics. Let's just bring Tonali back into that midfield there. So it's a 4 3 1 at the moment. Onana oh, 6.4 oh dear it's Florentino Luis playing right back and uh, inside to David Neres oh Paulo Lopez makes a save and uh, I wish I had a full back um, don't want to bring on Scott McKenna not after the way he got dropped by uh that striker who scored a couple of goals. Um, there you go, two one. Mr. Monkey at the wheel. There you go. Well, very nice victory, well done, boys. I'll say it. There we go. So there you go. Pepe's lost the plot, but Mr. Monkey, he's the genius. Um, Celtic been awarded 2.32 million for the win against Roma. I cannot believe we lost that game in the league. I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and to lose against Tibernian 4-2, 4-2, Jesus wept. And. That Steve Ambry scored a couple against us. He's not even all that, you know. It's really disappointing. That's gonna bug the crap out of me. That is right. Um, now he was the young lad who was picked by them. Craig Smith. That's the one. So let's scout him, 17 year old. Uh, let's have a little look because if we can pick up a few new gens um, here and there and uh, bring them into our academy, um, that will help, I think. Oh my god, they've turned down one and a half million. Who's this kid? Right, he is pretty decent. Decent, so two and a half million. Celtic set new gate receipts record. Two million quid. Get in. Um, Cheng is under. He is a good player. In. He is a very, very good player. 28 to 39 and a half million. I'm tempted. I'm really very tempted. Brian Hidalgo. Uh, 575 grand. Um, he's good, but he's not Scottish. Um... Axel Vitzel. No. If I don't, um, usually what I do is I try to scout the players, even if I'm not going to sign them, just so we got some knowledge of them. If we ever do um, play against them, 
Alfonso Davis, Wonder Kid, 20 year old. This is the lightning quick by Munich player, isn't it? Okay, let's scout him. What I think I'm going to look at, if we can just edit this search, um, is. Oh, hang on. That's what I've done. I looked for. Um, the new gen players here Let's see who was available whether anyone was any good um, and if they're any good try to sign them because at this age they can come for our youth system and qualify as um, a young player for us um, Francesco Trincao okay Jean-Claude Tadebo I would love Jean-Claude Tadebo at ours 39.5 million it cost Eey. right right we're going to be sensible about this now what I want is I think we need a right back um, we're good for wingers we're good for strikers and number 10s and midfielders um, I think we need a right back or a centre half we've already got Aya and Semedo so top top right back um, One that's just the absolute shit, you know, the absolute bomb. Um, Tomorrow's sent it back. Um, Ed Militao is phenomenal, but he's uh, injured. Right. Reese James. I don't think we're gonna get. Um, Nordi Michieli. You remember that Nordi Michieli who played for Leipzig? He's now gone to Bayern Munich. And pff, below me, he looks good. Uh, physicals 16, stamina, pace, fitness, and balance. And tackling. Yeah. Oh my god. Ashraf Hakimi. Right wing back. He is good. Um. Musawage I want an absolute dynamite right back um, just wondering if we should raise the age a little bit 27 so raise the age to 27 there's Trent Alexander Arnold which we're not going to get um, there's Jao Cancelo who's just amazing um, 140 grand a week we're not going to get Joshua Kimmich yeah we're not going to get him either um Emery Chan, we're not going to get Abdo Abdu Diallo centre back. We're not going to get him. Jaden Bogle's gone to Man United. Um, now, if they got Bogle and they got Wan Bissaka, huh? I say, I actually think, although Wan Bissaka's got tackling twenty, everywhere else I think Jaden Bogle's probably beating him. Um, yeah. 
Nelson Semedo. Ooh. Manuel Lazari crossing 16. Damn, he's more like a winger, isn't he? Ricardo Pereira. Matt Sarens, he's looking good now, 21 year old. Um, Johnny the Wolves player, one fight from West Ham. Mm. Hans Head Boa. Um, Well, I don't think there's an absolute stunning right back out there at the moment. John Joe Shelby. That's good. Um, looks alright. I'll tell you what we could probably do. Have a little look at... Uh, Scotland national team. Right, let's have a look at the senior squad. Um, Q and Tierney. Oh, I'd love to bring him back. Um, John Souter. He's at Hoffenheim. All right. Scott McKenna, bag of shit. Um, Andrew Robertson, would love him. James Forrest, on the decline, he's dirty. Callum McGregor, he's lost some ability as well. Uh, Scott McTominay, a fringe player for them. Mikey Johnston's improved massively. Carlin Grant's. Oliver McBurney, Ryan Fredericks we've already tried, Anthony Ralston's in the squad. Oh man. Mm. Let's try the under 21. Liam Morrison, he's one of ours. Um, Jamie Hamilton, he looks decent. Nathan McBride, young left back. A new gem player, let's scout him. Billy Gilmore. Yeah, he's so so. He's better in real life. Um, Nathan McKinley. Young goalkeeper for us. New gem player, looking good. David Grant contracted to Man United and New Gen. Um, get a scout report on him. I mean, there's no one really that stands out as, uh, you know, an absolute stonking player. Um, no. Now, what have we got in our our squad when it comes to reserve players? Not a lot. I got rid of a lot of players, didn't I? 
shit. Um, oops. Uh, I had a bit of a clear out. Under 18s, I had a clear out here as well, didn't I? Uh, crap. Des Grant, new gen player. Left back. Kenny Sloan, centre back. Um, Scott Conway, new gen. Davy Anderson, new gen. There's Shane Morris. Still improving. And Josip Bilic. Really improving. The young creation lad, so. Two 17 year old strikers coming through there, that looks good. Um, Embu, who David Anderson signed, left midfielder. He's, he's improved, he's actually looking good. Personality, mercenary. Oh, blimey. So, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing really there to um, interest us, really. David Anderson recommends Jimenez as a top target. Okay. Let's have a look at Jimenez, he's an absolute stonkingly good player and he would be our best centre half if we got him. So, um, we got 69 million in the bank. Did they just really take 59 million? They did. I'm not fucking about, if they took 59 million for him, I'll pay it. Okay. Well, there's me looking for a player and David Anderson just goes, how about this one, mate? <laughs> just smashed it out of the park. I, you know what? I just need to hand over this game to you guys. You know? Mr. Anderson, Mr. Monkey, Mr. Keedy, it's all yours. I've lost the plot. You guys are just doing the business right now. Um, you know, if we get Jimenez, isn't currently interested in contract negotiations. Ah, there you go. He rejected us. And I say, if we'd have got him, I'd have got rid of Scott McKenna in a heartbeat. Oh, that's unlucky. I don't. They have Q and Trippier, don't they? Let's have a look at Q and Trippier. Experience fullback. I mean, we could. Cow Henrique. Renan Lodi, um, Newman Perez, uh, Felipe, Zeki Celek. Where is that for Salco? Who's got him? Inter Milan have him. Yeah. Uh, he's alright. We sold them Redouan Halal. Um, they've not registered him. Edson Alvarez. Uh, centre back Milan Scrinier 59 million can't possibly get Scrinier could we I mean I'm cheeky enough to try he's uh, wanted by Real Madrid um, they want 87 million I offered 57. Let's offer 60. No. 
they've gone for 87 uh, we can't afford that Denzel Dumfries right wing back can't afford him Lucas Dinier can't afford him Marcel Savic so he was at Leipzig I think as well I think Leipzig might have sold quite a few of our players you know um, that being the case if we go to Leipzig if they're selling their players let's have a little look Matthew Bonswell where did they get him from so he was at Nottingham Forest and then went to Leipzig for an undisclosed fee back in 20, uh, 2018 there you go alright never heard of him now we have um, Uli Orban Ibrahima Kanate Six foot four. He looks like a beast, doesn't he? Um, Conrad Lamer. He was good on the right, wasn't he? He's really a midfielder. Tyler Adams. Kevin Campbell. Hans Wolf was good. Um, Danny Olmo. Danny Olmo. Hmm. We don't really need him though, do we? I mean, that's the problem. Marco Royce. Timo Werner. Right, could we? We could have a little nibble. Oh, 73 million is his release clause. Ooh. Seventy three million. I mean, I can alter the budget to do it. Hundred and thirty grand. Seventy three million for Team Alberta. I mean, if we got him, it's Champions League, isn't it? Oh, we can start negotiations. Right. Oh shit, they're not off letting me off more. Um Right. Um How's about adding um wage increase? Two hundred and fifty five after five games oh man dude you're breaking my balls I can't do it um What if I increase some of this other stuff and just pff, hoped? Um, right. He's took it. He's took it. Holy shit. Holy crap. We've got Timo Werner.
Have we got him? We've met his release clause. Have we actually got him? If we end up getting him, I don't know if he's going to join us now because it's October the 1st. Or whether he's going to join us in January. I don't know. Oh my god, Bilic has caught the eye again. He's a good striker him. You know what? Keep your Graham Gebby. Um We'll just assign a scout from the scouting pool until full knowledge. There we go. Right. This is important now because sorry the video is like three quarter of an hour long. But uh, if we get Timo Werner, Bolly Bollingoli, we sold him about three years back and he now plays for Rangers. Boo. Mr. Monkey confident in maintaining spirit, Celtic pre-match advice, AO enable uh, type marking, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Ah, oh. shit. Tyson's out for two to three months. Crap. Jeremy Frimpong's out for three to four weeks. Oh, man. The injuries are going to start hitting, aren't they? Oh, my God. If, if we get Timo Werner and Dries Mertens up front, that is just phenomenal. We will be unstoppable. That will be the Champions League. Oh, come on, please. Football manager gods, don't dick me over and FM me now, please. Please don't FM me. Oh, we're going to find out after the Rangers game. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. You guys are going to have to find out tomorrow. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I'm so sorry. Oh, well. Crap. Well, you guys are going to have to join tomorrow, join tomorrow and watch this Rangers game. And see if Timo Werner does sign for us. I'm sorry the video is so long. Um, sorry for the 4-2 loss. Uh, completely my cock up uh, against the Bernian. Mr. Monkey got us out of shit by winning the Roma game 2-1. Congratulations. Congratulations to Mr. Monkey. And uh, yeah. Oh man. Timo Werner. Well, tune in tomorrow to see if we get him. Hopefully we do. I'll see you then. Bye now.